Hey friends, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to share with you how you can build your UI kit views a lot faster using a technique which is somewhat similar to a builder pattern but not quite yet. And I have this demo project over here and in case you're wondering why I have this canvas over here and I'm rendering out this UI kit views, I'm going to leave a link somewhere at the top so you can check out the previous video that I did where I illustrate how you can actually have this effect uh, by adding this preview provider over here. Alright, so check out the link somewhere at the top. Okay, so over here, this is a very typical way of constructing views programmatically on UIKit. So we create some kind of uh, a view over here. In this case, we have a UI label. I initiate the uh, I initialize the label, add all these properties over here, and then uh, add them into the sub view. And this is what I get, right? We have a label just right in the middle of the view controller. So most of the time when we are coding out views, we are repeating all this, uh, you know, all this setting, all these properties, and it can get a little bit annoying after a while because you have to type so much right so what i'd like to share with you is that we can use something called uh, this i'm not really sure what pattern is it is this called but it looks a little bit like the builder pattern but not quite yet so i'm going to show you uh, how this looks like okay so i'm gonna again copy this over here and then just for convenience sake i'm just gonna paste everything at the top so it's basically just an extension of a ui label all right so uh, whichever components that you're working with okay you can just specify this and then so for example this part over here a uh, label dot translate uh, auto resize uh, translate auto resizable mask into constraints i'm going to do something like resizable so notice that this resembles swift ui quite a lot right so over here I, I have a function called text and you notice that this function all of these functions returns itself okay so we have a line over here we have font over here and we have text color so you can kind of see where i'm going with this okay so rather than doing it this way translate text, text label, uh, text alignment, font and text color. I'm going to show you a much quicker way to do this. And I think you will really be uh, appreciative of what I'm going to share with you. Okay, so now I'm going to do dot resizable. Okay, so this is for this one over here. And then I'm going to do a dot text. Okay, and I can pass in the text over here. So hello, I'm from Singapore. And then let's do a text alignment. Uh, maybe I call this alignment. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do dot center. All right, I call this align because I have it over here. All right, and then what do I have? Uh, I have font, so I can do dot font, and then I can pass in the font. And uh, in this case, the font is system font of size 20 uh, and bold. And finally, I can do the text color. All right, so again, depending on how you name your functions over here. And then this time I'm going to do red as well. So I'm just going to let the canvas render and you notice that it should turn red. All right. So notice that if I am to add some additional exclamation marks, it's going to render this uh, appropriately. All right. So again, this is a really fast way to, um, you know, uh, create your views by creating all these uh, extensions over here. And you can do the same for all the different elements. And I think uh, this is going to be a lot faster to just build your views. I hope that you learned something from this and I'll see you in the next one. Hi, developers. I want to introduce you to my brand new course that I've created this year in 2023. This is the iOS and Swift MVVM combined SnapKit, Snapshot, UI and unit test course. All right. So this is all the skills that you need to become a senior iOS engineer. And I've created this course to share all the knowledge that I've acquired for the past seven years. So if you are a developer with two or three years of experience, look no further because this course is going to supercharge your skills to land that senior developer. Role. I will provide promo links in the video description, so do check it out.